we do is we are primarily a business-to-business -business provider of online video solutions. So our customers include the National Hockey League, uh, the National Football League, uh, Indy Racing Car, the Tennis Channel, uh, approximately 175 NCAA schools and conferences where we've built on their behalf their entire online video experience. Well, I think uh, what what is being proven every day and, and has been a, certainly a personal thesis and I think our business thesis is that content is king. Um, what's happening if you, you look in the United States, for example, Comcast, the largest cable provider, lost subscribers in the most recent quarter. What did they do at a very macro level? They bought control of NBC, the television network. I think it's a, it's a class, first of all, I think it's a very smart move, but I also think it's a classic example of these large infrastructure players understanding that the infrastructure is becoming much less important and the content is becoming important. Obviously, the internet means an infinite number of channels. Forget the 500 channels that we've all come to know and appreciate are on the cable dial in the last few years. The internet says there's an infinite number of channels, so how do I attract an audience? I have to have the best content. Viewing habits for consuming sports are, are changing probably more so than anything, in my view, uh, on the internet. I mean, there's this incredible statistic that 34% of people in the United States last year while watching a live sporting event on television had a browser-based device open. So they had um, their mobile phone open, they had their laptop open, they had a computer open. What were they doing? Consuming content and media, statistics, stats, replays, interviews about that sporting activity. And that is, it's, it's amazing. It really takes watching something to a whole new level. I mean, one of the things we've just launched for a number of our university clients in the US is a mobile app. So you're in uh, Nebraska watching the Huskers and of course on the stadium signage there's a little bit of statistics about what's happening in real time. But now you can go to your mobile phone and you can see, well, you know, what are the stats for that uh, quarterback? Uh, what did he do last year? What did he do last game? Let's see the video clip of last week. What's on television right now in connection uh, with a particular sport? It's fascinating to watch uh, the changing landscape and how the telcos are reacting and how the cable companies and how the satellite companies and how the networks and they're all facing threats from, from different perspectives. I don't think there's any question that the major players will outsource more and more of the kind of raw technology aspects or the platform aspects of how to deliver content by way of internet protocol or IP uh, delivery, regardless of which uh, device it's to. And it's simply because the complexity is, some things are becoming a commodity, uh, but as soon as certain aspects of it become a commodity, other things become more and more complex. And that's our race, is to make uh, it, it very, very, very exciting and energetic for a consumer, which typically means behind the scenes there's a high complexity in technology. Uh, video in particular, you know, we're at the early days, the last couple of years we've seen this massive uptake uh, in video consumption, led of course by, by YouTube. Um, but we're, we're really early. I mean, if you look out five years from now, everything will be video. I mean, if you go and search Canadian Tire because you're looking at buying a barbecue, you're not going to look at static photos. You're going to watch, in my opinion, a guy throwing steaks on the barbecue on the CanadianTire.com uh, website. But I think, you know, video allows uh, consumers to get very, very engaged. And we haven't even got to the next phase, which you know, I said I'm not sure what it is, but I, I think it's actually this mixture of user-generated feedback with professional content. And where the fan base will, in, in, instead of chatting about a live game or, you know, an archived piece of content, you'll see a video response to it. And there'll be forums in that connection because people will be buying, you know, little cameras on top of their computers. And, and I think you're just going to see this massive explosion in video that mixes uh, user-generated and professional, and that's going to be pretty interesting stuff.